A group of experts in the country are calling for more government citizens' cooperation and participation in addressing issues of terrorism in Nigeria and the West Africa sub-region. This suggestion came at a dialogue meeting on ways to combat the continued threat of insecurity and terrorism in Abuja. The Abuja School of Social and Political Thought called together experts to brainstorm on these worrisome situations with the aim of finding solutions to the situation they have attributed to failure of democracy in most countries in West Africa. According to Dr. Sam Amadi, the executive director of the school, despite lots of counter-terrorism measures by most African countries backed by the European Union and the United Nations, the situation seems to be getting worse. We need to do more about the security in West Africa. But this security in West Africa impacts on livelihood, on democracy. The failure of democracy also aggravates the insecurity. So we have established a link between democracy in West Africa and insecurity. And we, we also said that there are a lot of counter-terrorism measures at the level of states, at the level of Region. region and even super region, the AU and the UN, and, and also states government. They have not been very effective. Government should be more co co cooperative, participatory, develop capacity for um, for persuasion, for argumentation, so that they'll be able to rebuild confidence of citizens in the state project. The experts also touched on the various instruments deployed to address counter-terrorism in Nigeria and the West African sub-region. So we need much more muscle. We need more arms. We need more investment in those areas that's going to push the kinetic agenda to its logical conclusion. These are the debates that have to keep on going on within the system. But the bottom line for me and in conclusion is that the counter-terrorism measures we have globally has not yielded the kind of result that should yield simply because of the way the global power configuration is arranged. Within the West African sub-region itself, it has become completely, probably upended, given what is going on in the Sahel now, and the way and manner the ECOWAS has already set to unravel. Within the Nigerian system, you can find the difficulty even within the system itself for a long time to determine where terrorism begins and where banditry ends. The escalation of diverse conflicts in each ECOWAS member states has led to the gradual imposition and exchange of kakistocrats and, and kakistocracy in the place of democrats and democracy. Unfortunately, many scholars outside this panel have failed. In spite of this, the, this collapse, the terrorism challenge in the sub-region and in the continent is actually growing. So we do have an existential challenge without the mechanism as it were to address that, that challenge in, in the sub-region. There's an action plan to prevent and combat terrorism at the continental level. There's a legal and institutional framework that has been signed into by all the member states uh, and some of the key components would include enhancing cooperation among member states. The continent as a whole has agreed to address the root causes of um, terrorism, uh, which include poverty, unemployment, political mo mobilization, um, and then promoting education and public awareness. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.